the master grill perfectly seasoned this thing is yummy i love it but we got a new toy today we got this from the lowe's so the master grill came from the home depot and i love it this came from the lowe's oh uh, <laughs> didn't need a grill but couldn't turn on the deal so this thing was already assembled and see the dent had a dent there and one more somewhere else dent there i noticed the assemblers kind of suck because we've got some loose fasteners a couple of things i'll fix but first uh res response what's the word i'm looking for i don't know first uh impressions it seems to be a little thicker metal a little better built than the master boat but this is also a $700 grill where the master boat was $500. But I, again, got lucky. So I said, hey, man, uh, is that one for sale since it's already put together? And they said, yes. I said, how about those dents? They gave me $200 off. I got this thing for $400. Bucks. Yeah. So just got it back. We have a, uh, looks like a storm rolling in, so I'm not gonna season it at the moment. Um, might keep it on the same video. We will see. Rolls good so far. Uh, I have no complaints. Yeah, I'm kind of stoked. Uh, because I do long cooks on that, when I want to sear steaks, it, uh, it'll catch fire on you, fellas, if you're not uh, paying attention and keep it super super clean and I don't want to keep it super super clean that's where my flavor comes from so that's gonna be my long smoke this one is gonna be for my uh, my medium smokes and my steaks because I do a lot of steaks and I watched some videos where some other people disassemble these and it looks like this will be a little easier to keep up with with drippings and stuff plus it's got a table built in however it goes together like that yeah anyway i'll do the burn in on this tomorrow let it smoke with nothing in it for a couple of hours all this is going to be the same uh i can already tell you i'm gonna like this one better than the master built because the ports are near here where the ports are on that side for the master built which means you gotta drag shit across it's annoying this feels actually pretty good quality now don't get me wrong i love that master built uh, i wanted something other than a pellet grill and it was about half price of the rec tech i was about to go buy and the flavors have been amazing on that master built and I haven't had no gasket issues or anything else. Just a little bit of being lazy, not scraping it out. And once you get 450, it'll catch fire if you don't scrape it out. So, yeah, it's just what I need. Another grill. I'm up to one, two, three, four, five. I got five now. Stoked. Super, super happy. Anytime I get a discount, I'm happy. Yeah. All right. Catch y'all tomorrow. All right. It's a couple of days later. As you can see, the sun is out. I'm going to be multitasking today. I've got a lot of chores to do in the yard with the plants, some laundry, stuff like that. Excuse the mess in the carport. But to the point, we're gonna uh, do the burn-in on this. So off the rip, I can tell you a couple things I do like about this char griller versus my master belt. Um, and I love that master belt, don't get me wrong. I've done some amazing meals on that master belt. The master belt I like a little better uh, because the price point is more friendlier. Um, I didn't research the warranties on both of them, but I don't care. 
the master built. I like the bread box design, the way it opens. And I also like it has options for the rotisserie. I don't like that it's got the ports on this side versus over here because you got to cross over everything. Um, this one, I love that it's got the built-in table. This heat box or exchanger seems to be a little thicker. Um, as long as you don't gouge it, if this porcelain lasts, it may be better uh, long-lasting. So we will see. Oh, uh, let's see. I like that you can open this and this at the same time. Where those, they conflict with each other because this bad boy opens up sideways. This way and boop. Anyway, y'all can see how that works. Oh, uh, I don't like that the box over here for the fan is exposed. I mean, it's not exposed, it's covered, but I don't know if you can see in there. Either way, I mean, just some stuff can knock it. They could have designed it over there. The uh, ash box is not as big, which means you gotta empty it more often, which is fine. I empty it almost every cook anyway. What else do I like? I think that's it at the moment. We're gonna do the burn in today, let it cook for a couple hours. I'm gonna let it smoke for, I don't know, two hours, and I'll jack it up and just burn off about a quarter amount of charcoal. Then I might do a couple of steaks. <laughs> Take all these stickers off while it's getting heated. Uh, the power cord is longer and thicker. So I like that. Um, I did run over my power cord with my lawnmower a long time ago. Had to get that. And silly me left the power probe in a steak one time when I went to go sear it. And at that temperature, those power probes never survive. These things are only made for, I would guess, 400 degrees and less. Don't use this if you're going higher. Just use a, a, a poker type. It's like one of my favorites. I meant to do a video on this bad boy, but I never did. It's this Inkbird. Super easy. On, poke it, done. Close it, it's off. And it's magnetic. Yeah. What else? That's it. I did not put, <clears throat> excuse me, I did not put this together. This was uh, one of two display units at my local west side Lowe's outside of Savannah, Georgia. So I'm uh, going through it, checking for stuff and debris. Found a couple of loose bolts, tightening them up. So it wasn't too bad. I'm sure I'll get nuts and bolts falling here and there every once in a while over the time. But this one I'm not going to leave in the weather like I did the poor master built. <laughs> bad boy got left out all last summer. Whoops. Yeah. All right. Let me uh, put this thing back together and light her up and pull some stickers off. Be back at you in a little bit. So I figured I'd show y'all my first plug-in and how to use this in case anybody doesn't know. There's like 50 million videos on YouTube about this one already, especially that one. Um, and this is the way most people do it. So you load your, your hopper. I tend to mix mine with um, a good quality charcoal and lump charcoal. And depending on the smoke, I'll actually layer a good chunk, like a piece of wood like that. Applewood or pecan wood seems to be my favorite throughout there. And then I'll add extra there. Uh, something I forgot about this is it has this vent. And I love the vent setup versus that one. Uh, so you can kind of control the intensity of the flavor. Because yes, there is a possibility of too much smoke. It'll come out tasting like you're eating a bar of soap. Um, that will not happen because I'm experienced. Yes, right? <laughs> uh, anyway, so this is what I used to start it with. There's a couple of different types out there. There's another type that I actually like that has a little wrapper on it, but I haven't been able to find it in a while. Uh, it's a little thinner, works good, but these come in this. I break it in half. I grab my favorite crack lighter and then 
you put it up in there, which this one's a little bit more cumbersome to do than the master built, but that's no big deal. The material itself seems to be a little thicker. So, then if you're fat, you get down here and you huff and puff. Hey, laundry's done. Time to go full clothes. I tend to light both ends. So anyway, you get the point. I light this and I leave this open for a good two or three minutes. Maybe a minute. I don't know. We'll see. Just enough to go put these up and I'll come back. Okay, it's been about 45 seconds because all I had to do was put it over there. Um, I haven't plugged this in yet. I usually do a spray down after the first burn in to kind of be the cleaner, but I saw a YouTube video where somebody did this beforehand. And he's older than me, so that means he's got more experience. So we'll do that just for shits and giggles. All right, now let's plug it in. We're plugging this in for the first time together, y'all. Nothing happened. Yay! It's telling me everything's open. Which it is. How's my fire? Good enough. So we're gonna close it. The latches are pretty good. Those latches over there are great, but these latches are pretty good too. Fan just kicked on. <clears throat> I don't know why. So I'm gonna assume you're gonna wanna hit temperature, 200. I'm gonna go 225, push it, and it's set. Actual temperature. I don't know if this is the probe itself. Meat probe too, yep. So that's pretty cool. And it's that simple, it really is. Oh, I almost forgot the important thing. That was silly of me. Anyway, you gotta pull this. This is what uh, snuffs out the flame. So you can literally fill this whole thing up. If you only want to use it for a few minutes, put this in and it saves the charcoal. Or your whatever, your burning material. Forgot about that. See, it gets hot right there. That one's got two. Um, because the fan box is on the other side. See it blowing the flames. I'll bring my hammer and dolly from the house, I mean, from the shop, and fix this another day. Let's put this halfway. Yep, that looks about right. The charcoal and lump charcoal is already on fire, and it smells good already. All right, so I'm gonna let this smoke for about an hour, and then um, I'll come back, crank her up, make sure she's sanitary, and I might do a steak later. So right now, it's time to go do some yard work while it's not raining. And, oh yeah, laundry, damn. I'm gonna go fold some towels first. See y'all in a little bit. Scooby-Doo, y'all. Yep. More laundry. Okay. This has been going for about an hour. Let's take a look. Yep, still clean because I haven't cooked anything on it yet. Nice, very nice. Let's look at hopper. Ooh, that's a little warm. Can you see? Can you see? Let's close it. It didn't beep when I opened it. Hmm. That one beeps when you open it. So temperature 
Let's bring her to 400 degrees. Fan kicks on. Let's do real time and see how long it takes to get there. Just gonna sit that there. pretty quick so far. All right, I'm noticing one thing. Um, getting a lot of smoke on the outside of the box here, which might be just assembly oil type stuff. So we'll have to pay attention to that on the next cook. I did see a little bit of smoke escaping from this, which I don't get that on the master belt. So I'll have to pay attention to that on the next cook too. It got the temperature pretty quick though. Yeah, I'm thinking that's just the, the millwork, the assembly from the metal itself being cooked off. 400 degrees real time. Yeah, that's no longer smelling good. That smells very machiney. So let's bump it up another 50 degrees. And we'll just let this cook off. So it went up the temperature pretty quick, as expected. I mean, it's good technology. It works on the master belt, so I'm sure these guys try to design this to be better than the master. I wonder if they had to pay extra for that finish. Hmm. Super happy about the table. All right, so that's pretty much it on this video. I'm gonna post it later. I don't like editing, so I don't know how long this thing's gonna be. Gets the temperature quick. Uh, everything is, is, is as expected. This one. Yeah, so the, there'd be lube inside there, and that's what's smoking right now. It's just the assembly. I thought it might have been a gasket leak, but it's not. It's the goo from inside the hinge itself. Yeah, most of this smoke is the, uh, just the build process. Good, 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 because I don't need flavor escaping. All right, so I'm going to let this burn out, and then um, next video on this bad boy, we may do a steak on both of them. I don't know. I got a pretty thick rib uh, two of them. I don't know, we'll see. I got uh, pork loin and some ribs to do tomorrow as well. We will see, I don't know yet. Back to the yard work. I'm getting ready for some uh, zucchinis. That's not squash y'all, it's called gold zucchini. Got a regular green zucchini. I'm gonna water these. All right, I gotta go, bye y'all.